Hi there, I'm Dominic. Today, I'm in Lamont, Florida. This is the location of a V3 supercharger, and I'm here with Ed, my new best friend who I just met. And uh, we've got this Model X, and we're gonna try to do a 10% challenge out of spec style. And uh, yeah, so here we are. We, uh, it's like a brand new build. So what's, uh, tell me about your Model X a little bit. It looks, uh, Super sweet. It's uh, 2023. It's a five seater. Uh, it's a long range, so it's not a plaid. Okay. Um, and I think it's got the newer April or newer ultra red uh, color uh, on it. I think it's an April build. Right. And it's got about 5,000 miles. All right. That's pretty good. And we got the regular, the we got the manufacturer's tires on there. Yes, uh, 20 inch tires, uh, Continentals all season. Okay, uh, let's see, um, we're down to about 10% battery. Yes. So we just gotta jump in. We're gonna jump in and go 80 miles for 15 minutes. And, uh, well, no, that was, no, 80 we'll, miles an hour. No, well, we'll charge for 15 minutes. Yeah, we minutes, charge for 15 minutes. And then drive 80, see how far we can go. That's right, charge 15 minutes. Then we're gonna also time the, uh, like the time for the handshake. I think around, it's usually like six, seven seconds. Like yeah. from the time we plug in, then to, to, to when the contactors click. Yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, let's start getting things set up and uh, get this experiment on the road. Okay. All right, so we got the timer ready, we got the plug ready, and let's go. Go. Plugged in, count. Yep. Oh, Talking seven. and we're green. Yep, seven seconds to uh, handshake time. All right. Yep, started charging at 10 10. All right, so we got uh, 15 minutes of charging, and while that's happening, oh, the fans kicked on this supercharger. Uh, let's just walk around this because this is like a, a pretty new build from April, and it looks like looks pretty nice. You know, I gotta say, this thing just looks so good. I oh, should also mention it's a little bit of a hot one today. It's already 85 degrees. It was 80 degrees not too long ago. So I think we're going to be up of around 90 something before, before we're done. Let's just take a look at the back end because, right. See the new ones have that word mark across the back, Tesla. And you know, I, I think it looks pretty good. Let us know what you think in the comments. Look at our charging speeds. Yeah, 252 kilowatts. Looks like that's what it's our peak charging speed, which is pretty good. These things put out, that's what these things put out. So yeah, I think they're rated to 250, but occasionally you can uh, get a couple more. Right, so this is maxed out, we're going. All right. Yeah, this thing looks so nice inside. We've got the white seats, the five seat spec. It's dog ready. <laughs> All right, so a little check-in where we got five minutes uh, left, or? Yes, just yeah. under five. Just under five minutes, and we're at 150 kilowatts, down to 148, we're backing down. All right. And we're at 46%. We, yeah, we've gained th 34 kilowatt hours. That's something we'll have to check at the, at the end, see how many yeah. kilowatt hours we put in. Yeah, all right. All right, we're getting down to the last few seconds. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, three, two, one. All right. We've added 44 kilowatt hours and we're at 56%. And now we just got to drive for 80 miles an hour until we're back down to 10% and log in the difference. All right, so let's go. Let's hit the road. All right, so let's take a look at the screen. We got our. I'll reset to zero. All right, let's go. We're headed out. So the Lamont superchargers, V3s, they're in, in a, like a truck stop parking lot. <laughs> this is some random truck stop. I don't think, is it branded? It's got a mobile. I think, that, I think, yeah, it's mobile and there's an Arby's. Okay. All right, just getting onto the interstate highway right now. 
I believe the, yeah, just uh, gentle acceleration is up here. Nothing too crazy, but we're going to build up to 80 miles an hour because that is the speed that generally people travel at in the real world. You know, we do our 70 mile an hour highway test at, of course, 70 miles an hour. Uh, but, you know, in 80, 80 miles an hour, you're going to use a lot more energy. So, uh, yep. And yeah, that's a nice merge up to the highway. It's a nice looking day up here. We're up to 89 degrees. Now we just got to get up to 80 miles an hour if we can get around this traffic. So this car does not have full self-driving, but it does have regular autopilot, of course. Just found out this car. This car comes as the blue bacon. So you can see on the controls down here, we got we got this, my seat turned up to three bacons, yeah, but bacon. it's, but it's not hot bacon. It's like nice and cool ventilated seats. This is sweet. <laughs> All right, so Ed, you have an, another Tesla. This is not your first Tesla. You have a Tesla Model Three, I believe you were saying. Yes, uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I thought, well, you know, the Model X is really the one I want, but there's no way I'm jumping in that deep of the deep end right. uh, on the first go. So I thought, let's just try the Model 3 um, and see how it goes. So I bought a, uh, it was a 2022 uh, Model 3, a long range, uh, in early 20, early that year. Okay. Uh, I loved it. Uh, loved everything about it. Okay. You still have it, or you... I still have it. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll keep it. Right. Uh, too much longer, but I still have it. Uh, it's a great car. Um, but, but how many miles do you think you've put on it? Uh, it's got like fifteen thousand. So okay. Far. That's not bad. And this one, you just picked this up. Uh, how long? How long ago? Uh, I got this one in June. Okay, so just a couple months. Yes. And uh, how do you like the uh, yoke steering wheel? That's always a... Took a few weeks to get used to it, but I really like it now. Okay. Uh, it's got a nice, comfortable hand position for me, and it's easy to steer. Um, easier to steer, I find. Uh, the only thing I really don't like is the positioning of the horn, and I think that's a common... Right. Plane, you know, instead of the middle. Right. Yeah, that's that everybody's used to. That's just an odd decision. Yeah, I won't honk it here because people will get mad. But yeah. That's um, okay. Yeah, I've only needed a horn once since I've had the car, and of course. Okay. I right. That. Okay. Not over here. Um, I, I just don't. Now, maybe if I everybody had grown up with the horn button right here, everybody sure. would be fine with it. Yeah. But. I, I just don't understand what the advantage of having a horn button here is. Yeah, I'm sure it's fancy. We're traveling west. I'm not sure what our wind speed is, but we're going to turn around about halfway. So I think when we get down to about 33% in that area, turn around and we'll have, of course, that whole 10% buffer to get us back to the supercharger, no problem. Yeah, it's a nice day out there. It is. All right. So I uh, just learned this is a uh, this Tesla Model X. Of course, it comes with uh, hardware four, and so one of the big differences is the camera quality. And so we've put the cameras on the screen here, and man, just check this out. This thing is just really nice clarity compared to mine. We'll have to look at my own a little bit later on, and just to compare. But that looks like amazing. All right, <laughs> go back to back to the road. All right, so we're uh, hitting the turnaround part. We're down to 36%, and we've covered, uh, let's see, what, we, what have we covered? Let me bring all that up. Trips. Trips, and looks like we're uh, 52 miles, 19 kilowatt hours of energy, 361 watt hours per mile average, which is pretty decent, I think, for 80 miles an hour. 
All right. And we're just turning around. Or is this the Quincy? Maybe Gretna. Yeah, it's a Quincy exit. The Quincy exit, okay. And wait for some traffic. Man, that screen, that camera looks so good. <laughs> I wish we could update the, my Tesla Model 3 to that hardware 4, but I guess there's no, there's no doing that. No retrofit. No. Alrighty, so we'll, we'll chime back in when we get closer to 10% uh, or something interesting happens. <laughs> Hey there, so we're still driving along. We got a few more percent to drive down. It's 16% right now, but uh, we'll ask Ed. So what got you into, like, what, how did you decide to buy a Tesla to begin with, like your first Tesla Model 3? Um, well, I wanted to get an EV uh, for kind of unconventional reasons. Uh, I guess a lot of people buy them for environmental reasons, and that's that's on my list, but it's not like the number one reason. Um, here in Tallahassee, whenever there is rumor of a hurricane, uh, folks tend to panic buy the gasoline. Right. Uh, and that happened to me, it happened like two or three times that I would get to a gas station, wait to get gas, and then the gas, the gas is gone. I have to go find it somewhere else. The gas cars don't have a navigation screen to direct you to the next place that has functioning gas. Right. Uh, and I think the last straw for me was that uh, what well, was like the Colonial Pipeline. Do you remember that it got oh. hacked a couple of years ago? Right. Uh, right. I think it was in May 2001, 2021. And it was right before I was going to go on a road trip. Uh, and people panic bought the gasoline, even though there was still... Right. Uh, we were still going to get our supply. It wasn't going to hit us too bad. Uh, and I said, that's it. I'm just done. Next time I'm in the market for a car, it's going to be an EV. Um, so then when I started looking around, um, you know, I saw all these road trip videos with Teslas and how easy it can be. And I said, all right, well... I'm going to get a Tesla next time uh, I was in the market. Right. So that's how I came across the uh, Model 3 the first time. But that's, I find that really interesting because a lot of people in Florida, they'll, they'll use hurricanes as a reason not to buy electric. They'll say, oh, what if there's a hurricane and we need to drive, that's you know, from, time. <laughs> right, from South Florida, you know, and when that happens, you know, they turn all of the highways one direction. So everyone's flooding north. And, but all the gas stations are going to be plugged full. All that, all those cars, you're going to be sitting and waiting in line. So you may have to wait at a super at a supercharger, but you know, it's, but you can be you can have a full tank you leaving your house in, in the morning. Other places, uh, campgrounds. Uh, that's true. Or, or you mean there's you know destination chargers and hotels and whatnot. You're not limited to the one place, even though that's the best place to go. Right. Um, Old man problems. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Well, we'll leave it there. That's just that's just a really interesting, uh, you know, reason to buy buy a Tesla or an electric vehicle to start with, you know, because of the hurricane situation. Now I remember. Um, well, last year we had a hurricane threat. Oh yeah. Not hit. Right. Um, and I charged the car up to like ninety percent because I had my Tesla at that point. Right. Um, and my plan was I wasn't going to going to evacuate, but if the power is going to be out for a few days, I'd much rather sleep camp mode in the car. Oh, true. Than you know sleep in you know the sweat box of the house. Right. <laughs> Especially you know at night in the uh, late summer, no air conditioning, you know, with all the humidity. Oh, it's miserable. Man, that's a, that's a, I, I never thought of that. Of course, I don't. I can't really sit in my Model Three or comfortably, but yes, you're a tall person. Right. Uh, I'm not nearly as tall, so I have I have slept in the Model Three, but it was not comfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's that's cool. Thanks for sharing that. Sure. All right. Okay. So let's take a quick look at where we're at. We're down to fifteen percent. 
Paris to Namur. We're down to 74 miles now. We're getting to get these cars out of our way so we get our speed back up. All right, forward. All right, we're down to 10%. It just clicked over 10. Look at that, 10%. And we've got, it's 92 degrees outside. We've traveled, uh, what's our distance here? 119 miles and 100, yeah, 119 miles. You use 42 kilowatt hours of energy, averaging 352 watt hours per mile. That's pretty good. We just turned around there at the Greenville exit. Uh, in case you don't know, that's Greenville is famous for being the hometown of Ray Charles. Um, but it's just a little bump of a little bump of a town. Not a whole lot going on there. But anyway, yep. Yeah. So we're just headed back to our supercharger where, where we started off originally, where my car is parked. And yeah, so that's 119 miles. That's pretty decent. What, what do you think about that result? 15 minutes of charging, 100, say 120 miles, basically. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm fine with that. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, fits right in with how I uh, uh, road trip anyway, regardless of what I'm driving. All right. So we started at around 10 o'clock, and it's uh, around noon now. So that's a couple hours of driving. That's pretty good. All right. All right. So. Uh, All right. So we're back to the Lamont Supercharger Station, and so. Pretty good run? Yes. Great way to spend a Saturday? Yeah, well, maybe not the greatest, but <laughs> it's interesting. Right. Uh, and it's like super hot out here. It's like 90 degrees at least. Um, so we're gonna get going, but yeah. 10% challenge. Uh, we got down to 10% added. So in 15 minutes, we added 44 kilowatt hours. Brought it up to 56%. We traveled 119 miles. The uh, Exact the average efficiency escapes me at the moment, but it's like uh, 350. But you can, yeah, we can, we can look correct. at it. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, but sounds good. Are you going to do this with the, your Model 3 as well sometime? Absolutely, okay. All right, I think I'm going to do it with mine too at some point. So, okay, yeah, see what. Well, well, you have a standard range, I have a long range, it'll be interesting to see that's how the different specs that's, uh, that's true. play out. And it's and it 19 inch wheels. I think uh, I think Kyle, uh, that spec has a Model 3 already who's done done it. So we'll, oh, we, okay. can, we can compare you know, our numbers with his because he'll, all the, all, it'll always be a little bit different, but the conditions with the uh, mm -hmm. air conditioning or heating and the rain or whatever, there's always something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but for now, uh, we're going to go and great meeting you, Ed. No, oh, great to meet you. Uh, well, wrong hand, but <laughs> uh, we'll see you again, and we'll see you again. Thank you for tuning in, and ciao.